James Joseph Croce was born January 10, 1943 in South Philadelphia, where he was brought up on ragtime, country, and Dixieland music. Country stuff, like old Jimmy Rogers, Fats Waller, Bessie Smith, a lot of Dixieland. Well, these are the kind of records that were around the house when I was a kid. He began playing music professionally in 1964 while he was at Villanova College in Pennsylvania. After graduating college in 1965, Croce worked on construction crews and taught guitar at a summer camp. He joined the U.S. Army National Guard for a short stint and also worked as a teacher at a junior high school. Croce had met his future wife, Ingrid Jacobson, in 1963 at a folk music party. They wed in 1966, the same year that Croce released a self-issued solo album, Facets. The album had been financed with a $500 wedding gift from Croce's parents, who set a condition that the money be spent to make an album. They hoped that he would give up music after the album failed and use his college education to pursue a respectable profession. However, the album proved a success with every copy sold. Croce and his wife began performing as a duo, moving to New York City in 1968 and recording an album together. They soon tired of the city and sold almost all their belongings so they could move back to Pennsylvania. Now, I moved to New York one time. I'd never move there again. Things weren't going right when I was living up there, but I just didn't like the pace. I didn't like the things I was doing. To make ends meet, Croce took on various jobs again, which would later form the background for many of his songs. He became a truck driver, did construction work, and sang for commercials. In 1970, Croce was introduced to Maury Mulheisen, a classically trained pianist, guitarist, and singer-songwriter from Trenton, New Jersey. They started playing together, with Croce backing Mulheisen on guitar. Their roles later reversed, with Mulheisen playing lead guitar to Croce's music. In 1972, Croce signed with ABC Records and released his first solo album, You Don't Mess Around With Jim. The record was an instant success and became a top 20 album in the United States. The title track reached the top 10 on the pop charts, while Operator, That's Not The Way It Feels, reached the top 20. Isn't that the way they say it goes? Well, let's forget all that And give me the number if you can find it So I can call just to tell them I'm fine and to show from 1972 to 1973, Croce performed in more than 250 concerts and made appearances on television programs. In early 1973, he released his second album, Life and Times, featuring Bad Bad Leroy Brown. Leroy Brown, the better span in old damn town, better than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. The song spent two weeks in the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and would become the number two song of 1973. Describing the song in an interview with Rolling Stone, Croce said that he wrote a lot of things in street terms, a lot of truck driving songs. Leroy, I wrote at home and was based on real characters. The jobs I've had attract characters. On September 20th, 1973, after finishing a concert at Northwestern State University's Prather Coliseum, Croce boarded a plane to Sherman, Texas to play a concert at Austin College. He never made it. Croce, Mulheisen, and four others were killed in a plane crash in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Croce was only 30 years old. According to the official report, the 57-year-old charter pilot had suffered a heart attack. Croce was buried at Haim Solomon Cemetery in Malvern, Pennsylvania. Mulheisen was laid to rest at St. Mary's Cemetery in Trenton, New Jersey. Corb Donahue, a friend of Croce's and an employee at his record company, ABC Dunhill, described Croce as simply one of the finest human beings I've ever met. The sentiment was echoed by others who knew him. The posthumous release of Croce's third album, I Got a Name, in December 1973 included three hits, Working at the Car Wash Blues, I'll Have to Say I Love You in a Song, and the title track. Like the pine trees lining the winding road I got a name I got a name the album reached number two on the American charts, and both I'll Have to Say I Love You in a Song and I Got a Name reached the top ten on the singles charts. Croce's label also released Time in a Bottle from his debut album as a single, which became his final number one hit. Photographs and memories Christmas cards you sent to me All that I have Remember you. Some 
Christmas skies and lullabies Nights we couldn't say goodbye And of all of the things that we knew Not a dream survived we wonder how many more timeless songs this talented singer, songwriter, and performer would have written had he been given more time. Photographs and memories All the love you gave to me Somehow it just can't be true It's all I've left of you Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and to like the video.